How's it going everyone? Thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, I've been wanting to release this for a while, but I did have some audio issues, so I had to redo it. Um, nonetheless, uh, this video is from when I first unboxed it. So it's brand new, fresh, uh, in, in my memory of how excited I was uh, when I opened this up. Uh, I did get a great deal uh, for Black Friday for this Switch. So this is a newer Switch, by the way, with the better chip for better battery life. Uh, and they came with uh, the Spyro, even though they shipped them separately. But I do want to thank um, big big giant thank you to one of my best friends timados tim really uh helped me get this and it's thanks to him that i finally got my hands on a switch that i've been wanting to get for a little bit i even like uh kept checking out all the titles and all the games and all the exclusives so i can make a little list and uh have a reason to pick the game up i mean the console up and so far I've been enjoying it so much. So again, thank you, Tim. You're awesome, and thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so here I'm gonna do the unboxing, as you guys can see, and uh, I'm really happy with it already. As I open it up, uh, everything should be similar to the first uh, Switch box that came out. I think the layout and everything was the same back when I checked out other unboxings. Uh, I go straight for the Joy-Cons. Uh, I did want to get the, the neon red and blue, but at the time they didn't have those. They added them later on, days after I already had ordered it. Uh, but this is fine. I could either uh, switch out the case for it or buy separate ones. I, I really want to get the red ones. Uh, I saw Yobi bought those around the time where I picked this up and I really thought those would look cool. Uh, even my friend Nicole has the red ones on hers as well. So uh, yeah, the gray ones are good for now. I don't mind it as a starter. Here's the, the actual tablet, the actual console. It is pretty hefty. I don't mind the weight though. I, I really do like the screen size. I was interested in the Switch Lite for a little bit, but I do like the way this screen is and I want the option to dock it for my nieces or anything like that. So that's why I definitely went for this one. Specifically, once they said they were going to add better battery life to it. Applying the Joy-Cons is a little difficult when you're behind your phone camera or whatever. Uh, but I, it is something that I have to get used to. Uh, I don't really take them out often because I like to play in handheld mode. Uh, so I rarely take the Joy-Cons off anyway. And here I'm going to do the first boot up. And then I'll cut to because, well, I had to do the, the setup and everything. But yeah, I'm really happy with the screen size. It looks really cool. Can't wait to change the Joy-Cons on, later on. I do prefer like red consoles and everything. So let's see what's, what else is in the box. Obviously you have instructions. Um, we have the Joy-Con grip uh, controller thing where you uh, put the Joy-Cons in there. I don't really like how light weight it feels, so I won't be using that. We also have these extenders for uh, the Joy-Cons for like two player or anything like that. And yes, they have the little wrist strap as well. Same thing on the other side. So that doesn't really affect me. I don't think I'm gonna use any of that stuff to be honest. I just mainly want to use the system as a handheld. For the most part, that's how I always use my Nintendo stuff, handheld mode. Even though I played some of the main consoles here and there, but yeah, it's, it's cool that this one's a hybrid in that aspect. So here's the dock. I would like to get like a skin or something for it because it's very plain. Um, but I still haven't like hooked it up or anything like that in my setup at all. But I've tested it out somewhere else. But yeah, I, I would like to have a skin on that. Then we also have the HB HDMI cable and the uh, power brick. Standard stuff that comes in the box usually. No biggie. Obviously the main attraction is the Switch itself and whatever games you play and like how the console feels. So, you know, that's the most interesting part and the most exciting part. So I'm really happy that I finally got that. 
And if you guys can see right there in that corner, this is a Game Boy Pocket because that was my first Game Boy handheld. I've tried the fat one from like a cousin or something, but that one was my first one, my own Game Boy Pocket. And to go from that back in the day to the Switch, you know, what a what a massive difference and how much the console has come a long way, like Nintendo and the handheld and the fact that you can dock it and it could become like, yeah, like a home console on the screen. It's, it's just awesome. So now let's talk about the games that I picked up. And as you can see here, uh, this is a couple days later because I finally sent me the Spyro that uh, came in the bundle for that Black Friday deal from Walmart. So Spyro, here it is. Uh, the game's in the, <laughs> the console or the handheld already. And uh, it looks amazing. I'm really happy with the game. I was gonna get it on Xbox, but I'm really happy that I got it on the Switch anyway. Starlinks uh, is on the Switch here, with which is the best version, I think, because you have Star Fox. And my brother picked that one up, so we're gonna play that one together. And then I got uh, Eevee as a, as a gift. Let's go Eevee. So it's really cute. And I really love that they have the background on here, like, with the exclusives, they actually put artwork back there. I wish that the games came with manuals or anything like that. That would be nice, but it's still a very cute game and I've been enjoying it so far. I tried it before and I knew I was going to like it. And as you can see right there, I also have the Pokeball, which you can use as a controller. Uh, and it has Mew in it and it's really fun. That was also a gift. Got this case, screen protector, and the grips. They're on the Joy-Cons all as gifts as well. I'm really happy to get that. And yes, you could use this case as a stand. So that's really convenient. If I ever want to do, I mean, if I ever want to take out the Joy-Cons and uh, sit back and play it that way, that's an option. So it's a really good case, nice grips. Um, they feel really comfortable actually. Even if I want to try other ones, these are really nice to start off with. And I have no, no issue, no problem playing with them like that. Like for long periods of time. So yeah, those are the games that I have. That's the case, the stuff. The screen is already on there by the way, the screen protector. That was just an extra one. Um, no, the Pokeball. I think I had it off camera or something, but yeah, I was just showing the box. And it has Mew right there in the back. But yeah, that's also really cool. And that's what I got so far. Uh, I actually picked up another game after that. But um, maybe I'll show that later on as my Switch collection grows. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate um, you guys checking out the video. Let me a comment below. Let me know if you have a Switch and how you're enjoying it. What game should I get? And I'll see you guys on the next video.